seven days before the new year of 2021. Merry Christmas to everybody. And thank you for even taking the time on this very special day in your life to share it with me as I am sharing it with you. Today's scripture is 1 Peter 5, 7. Casting all your care upon him for he cares for you. Isn't that awesome? Casting all your care upon him for he cares for you. Casting all the care of doubt, of finances, of health. Father, we lay him at your altar. If you're familiar with my teaching on, on getting rid of stress and trauma, Father, I can't fix this situation. I can't fix this person. But Father, I lay that person or that situation on your altar. That's casting all your care upon him. And it's not our job to fix everything. It's our job to allow him to fix it. And he will give us ideas. He will tell us what to do. Sometimes he'll tell you, take your hands off. Let me do it. But remember, as we cast all, not some, all of our care upon him, he'll take care of us because he loves you. He loves you beyond what you could ever comprehend. Have a great Christmas day. We'll see you tomorrow on day number six. Thanks so much for joining me today. I just want to tell you, give you a couple of tools because tools are very important. A couple of tools that will really help you as we go through the year. Number one, I recommend the Bible. Get a good translation that you can read and understand. My preference personally is the Passion Translation, which I love, especially my personalized purple one here. And I love that one. And But I have some other ones that are really good. Daily Declarations of Faith. And it's 365 declarations of faith speaking over you many different areas of your life and speaking blessings over you. Another one, Prayers and Promises for Financial Breakthrough. This particular book God has used in many people's lives to see them literally get out of debt. I mean, super naturally get out of debt. Husbands and wives, they'll, one will read it one day, the other one will read it the next day. And by the time they got to the end, there was so much supernatural provision in finances that they were like, this is absolutely the most amazing book we've ever read. It's a step-by-step, -step, more in the area of faith and building up your level of expectancy, which is really good. This one right here is prayers and promises for healing. If you need healing, I encourage you to spend time reading his word and it's just filled with promises of God wanting to heal you. And these are great ways to start off every day. Not only hearing from me, but also getting into whichever one you want to really get into. You can actually do all three, but primarily don't forget the word because the word is what will sustain you. God bless you.